And this youngster walking into the early morning mist at Grandfather Mountain goes down, the thrills of exploring the mystery that lie beyond. In late May and early June, the blossoms of the Caba rhododendron cover Grandfather Mountain and nearby Blue Ridge Parkway. The unspoiled ruggedness of these rustic peaks has made Grandfather a mountain of all mountains to the people. Loved and recalled the Southland and visitors from everywhere. An elevation of nearly 6,000 feet gives Grandfather the distinction of being the highest mountain in Blue Ridge Range. And logical is the name blue when viewed from near or far. The low growth of the Allegheny sand myrtle forms a natural mattress on this ancient mountain. And pioneer designed rail fences are attractive to look at and challenging to climb. It's of interest nearby. Not the least of these close at hand attractions is the celebrated Blue Ridge Parkway, projected to connect exclusively for passenger traffic the Shenandoah National Park in Virginia with the Great Smoky Mountains of North Carolina and Tennessee. Here on the Blue Ridge Parkway, we see another favorite wildflower of the region, the flame azalea, massed in varying shades of orange and yellow on the slopes and the mountain crests. Interest is Craggy Gardens on the Blue Ridge Parkway north of Asheville on the parkway's Mount Mitchell Lake. A leisurely hour's drive from Grandfather is Rhone Mountain, and on its summit, 700 acres of Catawba rhododendron, the largest natural red rhododendron garden in the whole world. Near Asheville is Biltmore House, built by the late George W. Vanderbilt in 1895, and regarded as the most magnificent country estate in America today. Linville Falls and many another spectacular waterfalls add further interest to North Carolina mountains. Down through the centuries, the continuous dripping of lime-laden waters from icy underground springs has created still another popular objective for the visitor. Linville Caverns, with its meandering walkways lined by ghostly stalagmites and stalactites, and lakes there's hundreds of them in the mountains of North Carolina, lakes both large and small. But back to the most thrilling of Grandfather Mountain's annual events, the Grandfather Mountain Sports Car Hill Climb, sponsored by the Sports Car Club of North Carolina. Drivers match their skill and the power of their foreign and American sports cars in a competition against the clock over the two and one half mile course leading to the mile-high parking area at the mountain's crest. For the kids, the Grandfather Mountain Championship Kite Flying Contest is a matter of primary interest, especially when the judges are cowboy star Bobby Benson, football great Otto Graham, and Air Force hero, Colonel Dean Hess. Camera fans have it best of all at Grandfather Mountain, and especially during the annual camera clinic sponsored by the Carolina Press Photographers Association. With the natural beauty of the mountain background and models for the foreground, amateur and professional photographers receive instruction from nationally noted cameramen. Folk music stars Arthur Smith and the Cracker Jacks introduced the best known of all Grandfather Mountain events, the Singing on the Mountain, held each fourth Sunday in June for more than 30 years in the broad meadow at Grandfather's base. Old time ministers like the Reverend Shelby E. Gregg and younger ministers with the old time ways of preaching the gospel have an active part in the proceedings. Singing on the Mountain is a king-size singing, preaching, family reunion, concert, and non-denominational religious convention all rolled into one with unusual musical performers like Happy John Coffey of Boone's Fork on the north slope of Grandfather Mountain playing his 36-string homemade harp. 
Leaving Grandfather Mountain again, we look in on a scene from Kermit Hunter's great historical drama, Horn in the West, which plays nightly during the summer months at the Daniel Boone Outdoor Theater in the bustling mountain town of Boone, North Carolina. Daniel Boone himself, the greatest pioneer of all, is featured character in Horn in the West. While on the subject of Daniel Boone, wouldn't he be surprised at the tameness of the bars and the little bar cubs that roam by the hundreds in the protection of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Visitors are properly cautious, however, for many of the bears are far from being as gentle as they appear. Yet another of North Carolina's popular historical dramas written by Kermit Hunter is Unto These Hills. This history of the Cherokees is presented each summer evening by the Cherokee Historical Association on the reservation at Cherokee. Not far from Mountainside Theater, scene of Under These Hills, the Cherokees have erected Okanalefti Indian Village built to show the authentic ways of the Indians in the Great Smoky Mountains 200 years ago. Under these hills has colorful suspense, and General Andrew Jackson suffers Indian wrath at the Battle of Horseshoe Bend. Linville, the nearest town to Grandfather Mountain, has beautiful summer homes and a Donald Ross golf course among its fine summer resort facilities. Popular golfer Billy Joe Patton of Morganton plays the Linville course, and also a special tee built for him more than a mile high in the sky on top of Grandfather Mountain, installed for a driving exhibition by the illustrious Billy Joe. Hit him? Almost a mile. Old timers in the mountains know how to expect the days when the fog comes in. And this photographer, can he take pictures taken in the brick, the tree, the box, the automobiles take on an eerie And could anything be more exciting than walking out of the goes on parade, including service tree blossoms, the rare and delicate pink lady slipper, the painted trillium, tiny bluettes, and the popular azalea vaceae, or pink shell azalea, which perhaps blooms more profusely on grandfather than on any other mountain. Interesting are the balsam tree shoots, and this hungry baby snowbird, Brilliant is the blossom of fire pink and the Turk's cap lily that blooms in July. Mountain laurel is found in abundance. These wild cherry. Whatever may be your favorite mountain wildflower, there's no doubt at all that butterflies like the thistle best. Oswego tea grows on moist creek banks. The black-eyed Susan, the huckleberry, it's everybody's tasty favorite. And beauty in shimmering light on the fern. As autumn approaches comes the goldenrod, and the ironweed tells us that frost is near. September sees grandfather and other lofty North Carolina peaks dotted with the orange of mountain ash, the flashy eye-catcher of all the mountain berries. And ooh, it's spooky here in the middle of this 600-foot tunnel, but as we drive into the daylight on the Blue Ridge Parkway, we find that the month is October and the season is the fall. The big show is truly on the road in all its autumn splendor as we travel the Blue Ridge Parkway to the rocky peaks of Grandfather Mountain, which lie just ahead.
Grandfather Mountain has character all of its own at all seasons, but its beauty is accentuated in fall. Picturesque from many angles, Grandfather is said by geologists to have the oldest rock formations in the world. Grandfather is visible and recognizable for more than 50 miles in all directions, and in the mountain people themselves, it inspires a special sort of admiration, an admiration easy to understand, but difficult to describe. Visitors to Grandfather Mountain come in ever-increasing numbers in recently accessible by the... This 228-foot suspension peaks above the mile-high elevation point, and it's engineered to withstand three pounds. Grandfather Mountain's mile-high fountain has its drinking water 280 feet.